say to say I made a major difference Pay the full now I went breathing different Cartage on my face, they got me seeing different So we're downtown Tampa here I'm about to finish up uh, Well, hopefully get close to finishing up this sleeve on this side We got Tattoo Red, he's the man Realism expert um, Check out his page uh, He's official Tattoo Red on IG Again, downtown Tampa Tattoo Red. Oh man, I got my first tattoo when I was like 18 out in Cali. Um, it's on my in the middle of my back, by my neck. It's a Cadillac reef. Um, inside, no, it has a Cadillac reef uh, and a four leaf clover because I'm Irish American. So that's how I came up with that. But. As far as how many tattoos, I don't even know. Red, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I think at this point in the game, we kind of go by hours. At some point, you're going to have one. There's going to be a one big ass one. Yes. All connected. <laughs> I would say maybe, because I got my chest, maybe like 72 hours. Three days worth of tattoos. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. What was, what was your first job? My first job. So when I was growing up, my, my dad owned a soccer specialty shop, so I started working there way before you're allowed to work. <laughs> I, I would be in the back, printing jerseys, printing numbers on jerseys, uh, you know, trying uh, soccer cleats on kids, uh, and then... So I did that for a while, and then I also landscaped for a long time, which taught me a lot about business and work ethic. What did you take most, like, what was the, your biggest take from, like, working at your dad's shop in the soccer place? Yeah, so my dad taught me how to sell. Uh, everything in business, everything in this entire world is all about sales. And uh, my dad is one of the best salesmen in the world. Uh, and he also taught me that no one cares about your business as much as you do. So, you know, if my dad was at the ta uh, if my dad was at the shop, and it was a small sporting goods shop, but if he was at the shop, you know, they might sell two thousand, three thousand dollars worth of stuff. He hires a ten dollar employee, they sell two hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff. Why? Because they don't give a shit. You know, the only person that really cared if stuff got sold there was my dad. Uh, because it's his shop. As a business owner, you have to think like that. With your current businesses right now, what are you looking? What do you look for in people that you hire, that you bring onto your team, um, and then do you want to develop them, or do you want them just to keep as employees and, and so forth? But yeah, no, I think uh, it's a good question. The best, uh, the best answer. Anyone who's successful in business knows that. Surrounding yourself with the best team, and uh, and that's 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 cliche. The reality is, is, you really have to know what you're good at and what other people are good at. You have to come to terms with what you can and can't do. And when I hire people, I look to hire people that are good at the things that I'm not good at. Right, and that's 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 what success in companies looks like. It's you're surrounded by people that are better at you than every than everything else that you need done. You know, I want my sales president to be a better salesman than I am. And uh, and so when I hire when I hire people, that's what I look for. So who is your favorite entrepreneur, and, or who do you look up to as of right now? Oh, um, my favorite entrepreneur by far is Michael Rubin. Michael Rubin is the goat, right? He, uh, he's the owner of the Sixers. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's a motivational speaker, but he's really, he's, he's one of the very few people that has been able to survive in a super corporate environment and also thrive in uh, more of a street style industry. Red, what was your first job, bro? My first job, I worked at a call center for three days. There was um, the first day was actually I actually worked 
I left on my lunch break and I never went back. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, that was the end. I was like, I don't work there no more. I got tired of getting cussed out and dipped out. And, what did that teach? What did that teach you? It told me I had to chase my dreams, and I mean, here we are doing it. You know, own boss. Yeah, I had no idea that I was gonna be here when I made that decision, but I'm happy I did because I wouldn't have made it this far. You know? <laughs> finish up my tattoo here with Red. Um, speaking of STB, we got Peso over here oh, in the building. Yo, the Bob's STB, she hit a bat. We're about to make a movie. We're about to make a movie. You watch. 